Direct calculation of mean value of n and dispersion of n. Consider an ideal system of capital N identical spins one half. The number n of magnetic moments which point up in point in the up direction can then be written in the form n equals u1 u2 all the way up to capital N, uh, where ui is equal to 1 if the ith magnetic moment points up and 0 if it points down. So use this expression and the fact that the spins are statistically independent to establish the following results. n bar is capital N u bar. The dispersion of n is n times uh, delta u square bar. Suppose that a magnetic moment has probability p of pointing up and q of pointing down. What are u bar and delta u square bar? Calculate n bar and delta n square bar and show that your results agree with the relations given in the text by a less direct method. Okay, so uh, let's start with part A. Uh, so n, the number of uh, moments pointing in the up direction, is given by a summation, uh, sum over i, from 1 to capital N, u sub i. So if we are looking for the mean value of N, that will be sum over I from 1 to N, capital N, the mean value of U for each uh, spin, uh, because we have U1 bar is equal to U2 bar is equal to UN bar, uh, since the spins are statistically independent, their mean values are independent of each other and it's the same. Uh, so we find that um, for n bar, we have summation over i from 1 to capital N, so if I call this mean value u bar, it's u bar, which is uh, which has capital N terms in it. So I will find that n bar is equal to capital N u bar as suggested in the uh, problem. Now I'm going to part B. Uh, I have to calculate the variance of n. So it is delta n square bar that I'm going to calculate and we have shown that this is n square bar minus n bar square in the previous problems. So uh, I already know what n bar square is therefore I have to calculate what n square bar is. So n square bar is going to be the summation i equals 1 to n ui multiplied with the summation j equals 1 to capital N uj, average value. And once again, this is going to have terms, summation i equals 1 to capital N uh, ui squared, and then summation i not equal to j uh, all the way up to n, from 1 to n. Uh, this is going to be ui times uj at the cross terms in the uh, sum, uh, summation. So I'm taking the average value of this uh, since I have uh, identical statistically independent uh, spins. I can write this as n square bar is equal to summation i equals 1 to n ui square bar and then I have summation i not equal to j from 1 to n ui uj average value. And ui uj average value is ui average value times uj average value, which is because ui average value and uj average value are the same, that is u bar uh, squared. So, uh, and this is going to give me, again, 
u bar squared. So what I have to be careful about is how many terms do I have uh, in this summation. So for n square bar, the first one has capital N terms, capital N times uh, u bar squared. Then uh, i goes from 1 to n, but j i is not equal to j j also goes from 1 to n but it doesn't it we have to exclude i so whenever we choose an i value j has only capital n minus 1 uh, values and we do this capital n times for different i values so therefore this summation will have capital n times capital n minus 1 uh, u bar squared terms now, uh, it may be a little, little bit difficult to follow what is going on here. So you can just try uh, with, uh, for example, i values going from 1 to 3, j values going from 1 to 3, i is not equal to j. What would you have in that case? You would find that you would have 3 times 2, 6 uh, values in the summation. So you can try this on your own. So uh, we have identical once again, and statistically independent spins. Okay, so uh, what I have to do here is basically uh, also remember what n bar was. So n bar was n u, so this is going to be n u bar uh, squared. So for the variance delta n square bar, which is n square bar minus n bar squared, I can substitute capital N times u bar squared plus capital N, capital N minus 1 u uh, bar squared and then minus n squared u bar squared. So um, here is uh, here is one mistake. We have to uh, correct this. We're taking the average value of u square bar. So this is u square bar. So the first term here is not u bar squared. It is u square bar okay so that affects this one so this is u square bar okay so this is going to give us capital n times u square bar plus capital n square u bar square minus capital n u bar uh, squared minus n squared u bar uh, squared. So these two terms uh, will cancel and at the end I will find capital N times u square bar minus u bar squared. Well that is the variance of u so delta N square bar variance of N is capital N times the variance of U. So that is what we were supposed to show in part B. So indeed, uh, this is the case. Okay, so uh, part C. Now, uh, suppose that a magnetic moment has probability P of pointing up and probability Q of pointing down. So U values, U is equal to uh, 1 with probability P. If it's pointing down, u value is 0. That has probability q here. So these are the probability assignments. Then what is u bar? Well, u bar will be a 1 times uh, p. So that is by definition uh, sum over r, p, r, u, r. So this is going to be 1 times p plus 0 times q, so it is p. Uh, so that is u bar. What is 
delta u square bar. And now delta u square bar uh, is going to be u minus uh, u bar square bar. Okay, so the u minus u bar is going to be, uh, or we can basically use the, uh, or we can use this u square bar minus a u bar square expression. So I already know what u bar square is. So let's calculate u square bar. That is, it has a value 1 squared with probability p and value 0 squared with probability q. So that is also, a u square bar is also p. So uh, the variance of u, delta u square bar, will be u square bar, which is p, minus u bar squared, which is p squared. So this is going to be p times 1 minus p, which is p times q. So uh, the answer is uh, u bar is equal to p, and the uh, as for the variance of u, root mean and uh, not uh, it's the mean square value uh, we have pq as the answer the standard deviation would be root mean square okay so that is the answer to part c part d calculate n bar and delta n square bar so uh, i remember from part b that uh, part a that n bar is equal to capital N times U bar. So I just have to substitute U bar is P. Uh, so N bar is equal to capital N times P. And what is uh, delta N square bar? Now delta N square bar, the variance of N is uh, capital N times delta u square bar that's what we have shown in part b so using this basically we find that delta n square bar is equal to n p q all right so uh if you look at the equations in the text, you will find that these two results are uh, in agreement with the text equations. So let's summarize what we did. We have defined this number u, which is 1 if the magnetic moment points up, 0 if it points down. Then the total number of magnetic moments that point up is sum over u values for each magnetic moment. If it's pointing up, it has a contribution. If it's pointing down, it has no contribution. So n equals uh, sum over i equals 1 to capital N ui. The mean value is sum over i equals 1 to capital N ui bar. Since I have identical uh, spins, uh, spins are statistically independent and identical, I have the same average value for each uh, spin. So n bar will be equal to capital N times u bar. Uh, delta n square bar is n square bar minus n bar square. So n bar I have already calculated is capital N times mean value of u. Uh, so I need to calculate the mean value of n square. n square is uh, summation i equals 1 to n ui multiplied with summation j equals 1 to n uj uh, whose average value i'm taking and if you open this up you will find that you will have terms that have squares in it and then uh, ui squared and for i is not equal to j we will have cross terms <clears throat> so um how many terms uh, will you have in the 
uh, in the second case uh, is something we have to consider. If we're taking the average value of this, once again, since I have identical statistically independent spins, uh, the first term is the average value of uh, ui square bar uh, that is added uh, capital N times, so it's, it would be capital N times u square average value and the second term is the summation i is not equal to j from 1 to capital n u i u j bar and since they are statistically independent i can write this as the product average is the uh, product of the averages so it is u bar squared so how many terms do i have there for uh, each i term one term is forbidden for j so uh, for i equals to 1, j cannot have the value 1. It has to go from 2 to capital N. For i equals to 2, j cannot have the value 2. It has to go from 1 to capital N, excluding 2. So that means for each i value, I have capital N minus 1 terms coming from j. And for capital N i values, capital N times capital N minus 1 uh, values of u bar squared so n square bar is then capital n u square bar plus capital n capital n minus one u bar squared uh, and if i uh, subtract from this n bar squared which is capital n squared u bar squared i reach the conclusion that the variance of n is capital n times variance of u if I assign a probability to these u values, if it is 1 with probability p and 0 with probability q, the mean value of u will be 1 times p plus 0 times q, which is p. The variance of u I can calculate from u square bar minus u bar squared. u bar I have already calculated is p. u square bar will be uh, 1 square times p plus 0 square times q. So that will be uh, sum over r p r u r squared basically and going through all possible cases i again obtain p so the variance of u is u square bar which is p minus u bar squared which is square of p then i have p q as the answer so if I substitute these two results to part A and part B results, I find that the mean value of N is capital NP and the variance of N is capital NPQ, which is in agreement with the text.